Welcome to my scientifically informed insider look at mental health topics. If you find this video to be interesting or helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Today's question is, what is the relationship between humility and death anxiety? Now to answer this question about the relationship between humility and death anxiety, I'm using an article that was published in 2014 by a researcher named Kezebeer. And this question was looked at through five studies that all looked at different angles of this question. So first I'll go over the construct of humility. With humility we see an accurate appraisal of self. Now this includes both the positive and negative attributes. So what we see here is an ability to recognize limitations in a non-defensive way. Now this is not the same thing as a sense of inferiority, but rather the lack of self-aggrandizing. We also see a lack of self-focus associated with high humility. Now the sense of self is a complex construct and we can look at the sense of self as having a few different parts. One of those parts would be this construct of self-esteem, particularly high self-esteem. And we also see a self-serving bias with the sense of self. This tendency to overestimate positive characteristics and underestimate negative characteristics. Now interestingly, a strong sense of self, including high self-esteem, has been associated with good mental health and happiness, but in the long run it can lead to a distorted self-perception, which can lead to lower pro-social behaviors or antisocial behaviors and a variety of other mental health consequences. So a lot of times we think of high self-esteem as good, and it may be in some sense, but a strong sense of self that has the self-serving biases eventually does lead to difficulties typically in the area of mental health. Now high levels of humility on the other hand have been associated with characteristics like generosity, being more likely to forgive others, being helpful, having good relationships, and it's been negatively associated with neuroticism and narcissism. So how is humility linked to death anxiety? Well death anxiety is worrying about dying. It's a type of existential crisis. It's not the only type of existential crisis, but it's one type. And death anxiety has been associated with a number of negative characteristics, and I talk about this in a prior video. So because of some of the characteristics of humility, it's believed that it has a relationship with death anxiety where high humility results in lower death anxiety, or is at least associated with lower death anxiety. So what is the relationship between these two constructs? Well, the study I mentioned earlier had a few different results. Higher levels of humility and lower levels of entitlement were associated with lower levels of death anxiety. Lower levels of humility combined with reminders of death resulted in a higher fear of death, increased death anxiety. And it was found that higher levels of humility tend to prevent thoughts of mortality from resulting in decreased self-control. So as I mentioned before, there were a few different angles explored here in this study in terms of how humility and death anxiety might be associated. So what explains these results? Why would a higher level of humility be associated with lower levels of death anxiety? Well, when somebody tends to see themselves in the larger context of existence, an individual, one person, would appear to be very small. And this isn't, again, a sense of inferiority, but rather just an accurate assessment. One person is small in the larger context of the universe. So personal mortality, an individual thinking about their own death, would seem less tragic from that point of view. And probably more importantly, personal mortality offers a way to understand how to live one's life. So really what we see with higher levels of humility is an increased spiritual component and an increased attention to self-transcendence. Some individuals have theorized that humility is really quite strongly related to the concept of self-transcendence. So really what humility offers is a perspective that may just be associated with not worrying about death as much. Now again, this is a study of correlation when we talk about levels of humility and death anxiety. And that's not really the same thing, of course, as causality. We don't know, maybe lower death anxiety results in higher humility. But it makes sense that the causal chain would work from humility 
to death anxiety. We would need more studies to look at this area to have more clarity, but that I think is a reasonable conclusion when looking at these results. It's of course important to recognize that having higher humility isn't the only way to have reduced death anxiety. There are a number of other factors that have been associated with death anxiety, including growing older. Death anxiety tends to decrease with age. But looking in terms of humility, does this study really indicate that we should work toward having higher humility? Well, humility, just like the idea of the sense of self, is a complex construct. And it's not really clear how somebody would move from having lower levels of humility to higher levels of humility. And again, not clear if that would cause lower death anxiety. The two are just associated. So I think it's an interesting area if someone wants to enter counseling and explore their level of humility, explore all these constructs related to humility, and see if they can find a different perspective. I think that's certainly one valid path, but we really don't know. We don't have a clear way of understanding how somebody reaches that level of humility that may be useful in terms of death anxiety. I hope you found this description about the relationship between humility and death anxiety to be interesting. Thanks for watching.